Alright then gang, so I just want to give you a quick lesson now on how we can use images inside our components. So to do this, I'm going to use just an image of a Pokeball to put as a little background to each one of these different posts on the homepage. So first of all, you'll notice in my files over here, I have a Pokeball.png file. You can find this on my GitHub repo. I'm going to leave the exact link for that image down below in the description. So just place that in your source folder directly in the source folder, and we're gonna use it inside this home component. So first of all, to use an image inside a component, what we have to do is import that image. So at the top, just say import, and we'll call this Pokeball from, and then we need to jump out of the current directory and then grab the pokeball.png file. All right, so that's what we're doing. We're just importing this Pokeball from this file. Now we can use this thing in the template down here. So we wanna output it for each individual post. And I'd like to output that just above this div right here, okay? So the first div stays the same. Underneath that directly, we're gonna output this image. So let's do an image tag first of all. Now the source of this image, this is gonna be this thing up here that we just imported and it's going to work out the source for us. We don't have to do a path to the source. We just have to output the name of the thing we imported in curly braces. So Pokeball. And that's all there is to it. Let's give this a little alt description. So a Pokeball like so. Save that and view it in a browser and we get this gigantic Pokeball in each one of these things. So that was very easy, right? All we had to do was import it and then use it as the source like so, but it still looks a bit khaki. So let's go to the CSS file, index.css, and just spruce this up a little bit. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is grab the home component, then the post, and then the image inside that, because remember we have over here a class of container, which will also give a class of home. So that's the home class right here, yeah? Then we're looking for a post class, and that thing is right here, so that's gonna be nested inside. Then we want the image inside that, all right? So let's save this and go back over here. So let's grab that image, and then what we want to do is position this, absolutely, so absolute, and then we'll say from the top we want it to be 20 pixels, from the left we want it to be minus 100 pixels, so it goes off the card to the left a bit. The opacity is gonna be 0.6, uh, just so it fades out a little bit. Now let's also spell position correctly and save this. View it in a browser and now we can see this part of the Pokeball inside the card. But we also need to make this thing right here overflow hidden so that we don't see the stuff that goes outside of the card. So again, let's go down here and we'll say we want the home.post to say overflow hidden like so. And then we'll also give this, oops, a padding left property and that's gonna be about 80 pixels, just so the Pokeball has a bit of room to breathe. So let's have a look at this now. All right, looking better. So now we have that little Pokeball on the side of each individual post. Now I'm just gonna change the text color of this thing right here. Now to do that, I'm gonna to go to our template and where we output this title right here, I'm gonna give this a class of red hyphen text. So save that, view this in a browser, and that is looking better. All right, my friends, so that is how we use images in a React component.